Father, your children to receive your wisdom, Father God, because your wisdom is better than rubies. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to your wisdom, Father God. Verse 12. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions, Father. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Father God, that you will help myself and your children and all the persecuted lambs to dwell with prudence, Father, with the wisdom that would give us prudence, Father God, to find out knowledge and witty inventions that you will give myself and your children and all the persecuted lambs witty inventions from your wit wisdom, Father God, from your wisdom, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And wonderful ideas from you, Father God. In any given area of our lives. In Jesus Christ's name. Verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride and arrogancy. And the evil way. And the froward mouth. Do I hate. Father God, I pray that you help myself and all your children and the persecuted lambs. Everywhere in the world, Father God, to fear you, Lord. Father God, and to hate evil, Father God. That we will hate evil. And pride and arrogancy. We won't be given to pride and arrogancy, Father God, in the evil way, nor the froward mouth. Father God, that we will hate these things, that we will hate pride and arrogancy in the evil way. And we will hate evil. We will hate the froward mouth, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. You will hate, help us to hate what you hate, Father, the evil that you hate and hate sin like you hate sin, Father God. That you will help your children and all the persecuted lambs and myself to hate what you hate, to hate sin, to hate evil, to hate the evil way, to hate arrogancy and pride, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, in the froward mouth too, in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 14, counsel is mine and sound wisdom and I am understanding. I have strength. Father, I thank you, Father God, that counsel is ours, Father God, is yours and sound wisdom, Father. And I thank you for giving us good counsel from you, all your children and the persecuted lambs and myself. Good counsel from you and sound wisdom and understanding because you are understanding, Father God. And Father God, I thank you that we have strength because you have given us understanding and wisdom and good counsel from you and your word, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name for all your children and the persecuted lambs and myself as your child in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 15, by me, kings reign and princes decree justice. Father, I pray for all your children and the persecuted lambs that are in leadership roles, Father God, that they will yield to wisdom and that you will give them wisdom in any leadership role that they have. And even for all your children and the persecuted lambs that have children that are parents that's in a leadership role, that you will give them wisdom in parenting, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Now, verse 17, I love them that love me and those that seek me early should find me. Father God, I thank you, Father God, that you love the ones that love you and those that seek you early shall find you, Father. You, the, your wisdom, Father God, love the ones that love them. The ones that love wisdom, love them. And the ones that seek wisdom, Early shall find wisdom, Father God. So, Father, I pray that you help myself and all your children and the persecuted lambs to love wisdom, Father God, and to seek wisdom early, wisdom, your wisdom early, because, Father God, when we seek your wisdom, we will find wisdom, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 18, riches and honor are with you me yea durable riches and righteousness riches and honor are with me yea durable riches and righteousness father god i thank you because of your wisdom i myself as your child and your children and the persecuted lambs father god can get riches and honor father god durable riches and righteousness father god in jesus christ's name Verse 19, my fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. Father God, I thank you, Father God, that your fruit, the fruit of wisdom is better than gold, Father God, yea, than fine gold, 
And Father, the revenue, your revenue, then choice silver. In verse 20, I lead in the way of righteous. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of judgment. So, Father, I thank you that your wisdom lead in the way of righteousness and in the midst of the paths of judgment. So, Father, I thank you for giving myself and your children and the persecuted lambs, Father God, wisdom that's going to lead us to righteousness and that's going to lead us to the paths of judgment, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 21, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance and I will fill their treasures. Father, I thank you for giving myself wisdom as your child and all your children and the persecuted lambs. Wisdom that's going to cause us to, to inherit substance as we love wisdom, Father God, and that will fill our treasures, Father God, in any given area of our lives in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 22. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way before his works of old. Verse 23, I was set up from everlasting from the beginning or ever the earth was. Verse 24, when there was when there were no depths, I was brought forth when there were no fountains abounding with water. Verse 25, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. I'm sorry, was I brought forth. I'm sorry, I couldn't get that word. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. That's what I meant to say, brought, not bought. <laughs> I, okay, verse 26, while as yet he had not made the earth nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. Verse 27, when he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the death. 20, verse 28, when he established the clouds above, when he established, I'm sorry, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep. I'm going to read verse 28 again. When he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep. Verse 29, when he gave to the sea his decree that the waters should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth. Verse 30, then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. Verse 31, rejoicing in the habit, how do you pronounce this word? Rejoicing in the habitable, habitable, habitable. <laughs> I've never seen that word before. Habitable part of his earth. And my delights were with the sons of men. Verse 32. Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Father God, I pray that you help myself and all your children and the persecuted lambs. Father God. To hearken unto you and to hearken unto the wisdom, to your wisdom, Father God, as your children, Father God. Because you say, as we hearken unto your wisdom, Father God, we are blessed that keep the ways of your wisdom, that keep the ways of your wisdom, Father God, your ways, Father God. Verse 33, hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Father, I pray that you help myself as your child and all your children and all the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world to hear instruction. Father God, and be wise and refuse not instruction. We will not refuse instruction nor your wisdom, Father, but we will receive your instruction and your wisdom, Father God, from your word, Father God, and from wise counselors. That you put before us, Father, in Jesus Christ's name and ministers of the gospel that has your wisdom in Jesus Christ's name. Verse 34, blessed is the man that heareth me watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. Father God, I pray that you help myself and all your children and all the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world to be watching daily at the gates for wisdom and waiting at the posts of our doors for your wisdom, Father God, because you said when we do that, we are blessed that hear it, your wisdom. When we hearken unto your wisdom, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. 
So Father God, verse 35, I'm going to, who for whoso findeth me, findeth life. I'm going to read verse 35. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall attain favor of the Lord. So Father God, I thank you as I, as your child, Father God, and all your children all over the world, and the persecuted lambs, as we find it wisdom, your wisdom, Father God, we find it life. And I thank you as we find your wisdom, Father, we find it life. And Father God, that we shall attain favor of you, Lord, when we find your wisdom, Father God, when your children and all the persecuted lambs and myself as your child find wisdom, Father God, that we have favor from you. We attain favor from you when we find your wisdom and abide in it. In verse 36, but he that sinned against me wronged his own soul. All they that hate me love death. So, Father God, you said for the ones that sinned against your word, your wisdom, Father God, wronged their own souls. And all they that hate me, which would be wisdom, love death. So, Father, I thank you for helping your children and myself all over all the children all over the world, your children all over the world, myself as your child. <laughs> so I'm trying to get that out right. And all the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world, not to hate wisdom, but we will love wisdom, Father God, and help us not to sin, Father God, in our own souls, Father God. And we won't wrong our own souls by sinning against you and your wisdom and not in rejecting your wisdom, Father God. So Father God, and that we won't hate wisdom, but we will love wisdom because you said when we hate wisdom, we love death. So, Father God, we will love wisdom so we can have life because your wisdom is life and your wisdom give us life, Father God. So, Father God, I just thank you for your word, Father God, in Proverbs chapter 8. That is done in my life and done in the life of lives of all of your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world. Father God, in this world, Father God, according to your word in Proverbs chapter 8, verses 1 through 36, in Jesus Christ's name. Oh, I'm sorry, persecuted lambs out there, all precious lambs out there. I was going through some spiritual warfare from the enemy, and I had to do some spiritual warfare in between takes of have the pause this episode to pray against the evil forces coming against me, stomping over my head through evil neighbors above my head. So I had to pray over that, and then the devil's been attacking me doing these episodes today because the devil hates the word of God and we know the devil hates wisdom <laughs> hates the wisdom of God so but he does Jehovah Yah does not want us to hate the wisdom be like the devil that hates wisdom and be like fools that hate wisdom but God Jehovah Yah want us to be wise and love wisdom and receive his wisdom and to abide in his wisdom and knowledge and understanding of his word and be obedient to his commandments and to his word and the wisdom and hearkening to the wisdom of his voice and his word. Oh, precious lambs. Oh, precious lambs. So, Father, I thank you that your word is done in the lives of all your children and in my life as your child and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world. Father God, this prayer is done in our lives and answered by you, Father. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this prayer and answer it and hear it out, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Father God, and I bind up every demon spirit of distraction coming against me from doing these episodes, especially when it comes to your word, Father God, because Proverbs is full of your wisdom, the book of Proverbs. And I thank you for the book of Proverbs, Father God. I thank you for Proverbs chapter 8, the wisdom in Proverbs chapter 8, and the in your wisdom and your word, period, Father God, and in all the books of Proverbs and your word, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And thank you for giving myself as your child and all your children and the persecuted lambs your wisdom and helping us to yield to your wisdom and to love your wisdom and seek your wisdom and your knowledge 
and understanding and discretion and good judgments, Father God, and the hearkening to your voice, Father, to be obedient to you and your word and your commandments, Father, and your decrees and, and principles, Father God, of your word and the principles of your word and Proverbs, Father God, to abide.